Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the latest updated videos. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel Query Solution. So dear all, today I am going to start my new topic which is coordination in the case of plants. We have already covered coordination in animals where we had studied about the nervous system, the neurons and all the details about human brain. So in this video, I'll be covering about uh, coordination in plant. So it will be achieved through uh, movement in the case of plant, which have two categories, one which is independent on growth and one which is dependent on growth. And another topic that I'll be covering is tropism and its types. So even if you want to know and listen to detail, do watch my video completely. And for now, let's start up with the video. So students, if we talk about coordination in the case of plants, plants actually does not have any specific type of organ system as we studied in the case of animals, that is the nervous system. Plant does not have this specialized organ system which is specialized for the coordination activity in organisms. Whereas even plant does not have any specialized type of tissue as animal used to have as we studied neurons in our previous video. So how will coordination happen in the case of plants? So in the case of plants, though they does not consist of any specific organ system or a tissue, plant undergo coordination with the help of movement. And these movement in the case of plants can be of two type. One which is dependent on growth and one which is independent on growth. Now see how independent on growth these movements will be achieved. First let us see that. Now consider a case of a touch me not plant. You might have all heard this name. Which is this touch me not plant? Which belongs to the mimosa family. The one to whom we touch they close their leaf. Right? You might have seen this plant. The plant in which we touch to, we touch to any part of the plant. It closes down its leaf. Now why does that happen? Whenever there is a sensation of touch. Now here touch will be the stimulus. Because it is a change to the plant. So whenever there will be any stimulus in this condition. The plant is showing response by closing its leaves. Right, it is closing its leaf, but here closing of the leaf does not mean that the plant is growing. Closing of the leaf does not mean that the plant has shown a decreased growth or rather an increased growth. It is only here possible because the plant is acting depending upon its cells. Now, how it is acting? Whenever you are touching the plant, the leaves are closing down. Absolutely correct. But what is happening actually? What is the main function which is being involved? The different cells of the plant here are acting by either shrinking or either swelling. Due to which after a certain period of time these closed leaves will again come back to its normal position. But here the growth is not being dependent. The plant is not increasing or decreasing in size. It is just the cells of the plants are enabling the leaves to either shrink or either swell up. So that is how this movement is achieved in the case of plant which is independent of growth. Now let us see how dependency on the growth, the movement through dependency on growth is obtained. So here we will talk about tropism. Now what is this tropism? Tropism means movement of plant in response to stimulus. What do you mean by tropism? Tropism means movement of plant in response to stimulus. And as I said you, what is the meaning of stimulus? Stimulus means any change which is there in the plant any change it can be a physical change a chemical change any change it can be so let us study about this tropism more into details so as i said you tropism is of different types it has got different categories of tropism and tropism means any movement of plant which is dependent upon stimulus so here we will be discussing about four different type of tropism and what responses do plants show about them now, if we talk about phototropism, which is the first one. So, as I said, you if we we'll divide this term into two particular part, it has got two types, photo and tropism. Tropism, as I said, you means response to stimulus. And here, which response we are talking about? Photo. Photo means light. So, how a plant will respond in the presence or absence of light? Now, you all might have performed an experiment in your previous class or maybe in this 10th class, where you might have said to grow a... 
plant inside a dark room a plant might be kept where it might be kept in a dark room and you only have given one particular uh, uh like you have given only light in one particular direction so what was the result you obtained through this experiment that in the direction in which the light is coming the plant grows in that particular direction right you might have seen bended leaves or sorry bended stem where the plant is growing in the presence of light so that is how it confirms here that whenever there will be a stimulus which is photo that is light the roots of the plant always show negative now why negative we all know that if we consider a plant the shoot portion is present above the soil whereas the root portion is present below the soil right so since the roots are there below below the soil it is always dark over here so roots are independent of growth whereas the one to which the light will actually affect is the leaves we all know plant need photosynthesis to grow it needs photosynthesis to prepare its own food which helps in preparing glucose and then it helps in the growth of the plant so if we talk about phototropism and if we talk about the roots and shoots of the plant the root shows negative phototropism because they are irrespective the growth is irrespective of light whereas the shoot shows positive phototropism what does that means positive phototropism that is the shoot are responsible or the shoots the light are is responsible for showing the movement positively in the case of shoots okay now let us see the second one which is geotropism now tropism again means stimulus that is any change and here which change we are talking about geo that is gravity so if we talk about gravity response or geotropism we all know that gravity is always to the downside and which part of the plant grows downside that is roots so root shows positive geotropism in this case whereas shoot shows negative geotropism because they grow up that is against the gravity let us talk about the third one that is hydro so tropism again means stimulus and here which stimulus we are talking about hydro that means water so how plant will show in response to water just see it now as i said you in this condition we always give water to the soil right the soil always gets the water this soil or this water penetrates the the porous nature of the soil allows the water to penetrate deep down into the roots now wherever the plant roots will find water it tends to grow in that particular direction if for example if here there is water availability the roots will try to grow in this particular direction so we can conclude through this that in the case of hydrotropism the root shows positive hydrotropism whereas the shoot shows negative hydrotropism now next in the last one is chemotropism now chemo you can all relate it is related to with stimulus it is related to chemical now here chemical we will see or study the plant with the help of hormones because we all know what are hormones hormones are nothing but the chemical messengers such messengers which transmit the chemicals and uh, through that chemical they send the message from one part of the body to the target site right so in the case of plants there are different categories of hormones that perform different functions so let us see that so as i said you that chemical that is hormones are responsible that act as actually a chemical messenger so plant has different types of hormone we are just studying through a few examples over here so like one of the cases auxin it is a plant hormone auxin and what is the function of this auxin it promotes the cell growth what is the plus symbol resembling over here that it it promotes the cell growth it allows the cell growth the cells to grow whereas another example of a plant hormone is cytokinin now what is the function of cytokinin it promotes cell division it allows continuous division of the cell whereas there is one category of hormone which inhibits the growth it does not allow growth to attain after a particular period of time that particular hormone is abscisic acid so this is how if these hormones will be released in the case of plants the affected or the particular uh, cells which are there those will get affected and they will show the appropriate functions as per which plant hormone is getting released so this is how the case of coordination uh, coordination occur in the case of plant where they allow growth with the help of few stimulus like light gravity water and chemical so i hope you are clear with the video in case if you have got doubt you can ask to me in the comment section box below as i said you i'll be always happy to help you out and in the next video i'll be discussing about hormones in the case of animals and the different type of glands through which they are produced so 
subscribe to my channel like my video so that you can you will be able to have notifications for my new video which will be posted so keep on studying and until then bye bye